Aloha, Pepsi Cola. So today we're gonna be checking out the area that was once the Riverside Amusement Park in Indianapolis. And this neighborhood right here is actually the spot where probably a lot of the uh, amusement park rides were at. Roller coasters and whatnot. But this was a amusement park in Indianapolis. I think it opened in 1907, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, like 1907. And then pretty much closed in the 1970s. show show what it used to be or I mean where what it is today and I'll show some pictures and such of what it used to be at this location at this location River's Edge, former site of an amusement park. And this right here is Riverside Park. Just to show just how close I was to seeing the, the park just a couple videos back, here is that bridge again. So yeah, a couple videos back. I was just looking on the other side of that river. So what I think they're doing is they're actually, uh, yeah, they're just going to be rebuilding the bridge. I don't think it was any type of freak accident or anything like that. I think they're just actually just rebuilding the bridge. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Wow. Let's say that bridge is gone. Hmm. And also on this side, they also had a way to get down to the, the river. There's a stairway down there. So, this right here. I think it's this part, or this part too. This, um, it's Riverside Park. Another portion of it. So it's possible, probably, probably the case. This was uh, part of the amusement park as well. Probably by an extension. Because I'm pretty sure the neighborhood over here it's the exact location where the rides were at. Where this tall 
three-story, two-story houses over there. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of air traffic around here. Like I was saying, like, um, the neighborhood over there, that is probably where the, uh, most of the rides were at, the amusement park rides. And I would imagine that this park over here was probably just more of the, uh, theme park, the amusement park as well. It was just a, by, you know, extension. I mean, yeah. And then, yeah, you got the bridge over here, which is no longer existing. And this is 30th Street. So the music park might be gone. There still seems to be some slides here. Water slides. Now, I don't know what the date is of these slides, if they're much older. But hey, it could be possible that it was a part of uh, the amusement park. That could be mistaken though. Looks like there used to be like a baseball uh, type place right there. Baseball, softball, something. Probably still being used. Oh, that's a cool park though. Water park here. Little water park. I don't think it's open right now. This would be like the perfect day for that. It's unfortunate. Yeah, this would be the perfect day for going for a swim. Water park or something. I think the pool is filled up down there. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Just the things you discover, man. Just the things you discover just driving around. <laughs> I had I had no idea about this place. Pretty neat. There's a lot of things about Indianapolis I never even knew about, especially around this area. I didn't know there was an amusement park at one point. I didn't know there was a, this here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I didn't know there was like bridges being replaced in the White River and everything. I guess. Now this was another reason for coming here. Very fascinating uh, monument, memorial building. That's yeah, like actually pretty old from when I've read a little bit about it. I'll have to probably park down here to walk up to it. Looks to be some more. Oh, yeah, so there's the uh, aquatic center, Riverside Family Aquatic Center. Cool, so you get a better view of the water park from down here. It's a Riverside Family Aquatic Center. It is closed right now. That's a shame. Oh, cool. Well, all right, some little uh, Indianapolis history here. So Taggart was mayor of Indianapolis Back in the early days, in the 1890s, whatnot. And so, <clears throat> after his death, 
in uh, 1931, they uh, made this monument here, this memorial, which is uh, this thing right here. I think that's like the original uh, memorial right here. Yeah. So this was the Taggart Memorial. Thomas Taggart. And he was uh, mayor of, of uh, and he was mayor of Indianapolis. And I guess after a lot of years of just neglect and whatnot, uh, yeah, I guess in recent time they've uh, restored Taggart, this memorial, and turned it into an amphitheater. This uh, amphitheater here. And so there's like some live show, no, uh, live music that happens here, and you know, all that. So that's what happens here. Pretty cool though. It's like who knows how many people even knew about this thing before it was in the amphitheater. Right? <laughs> I sure didn't. I sure as heck didn't know that about that. Yeah. It's more air traffic. <laughs> Then you got this, uh, this is playground down here. Yeah, I just got the feeling this is a pretty unknown park in, in Indianapolis. Maybe if they open up that one water park over there and probably would draw in some more people. Yeah. Yeah. This playground's looking a little bleached from the sun. You can kind of tell with the reds and the yellows. It's kind of bleached. Grasshopper. Check that bird out over there. Huh. I'll go look over there. Yeah. Man, how do you even get in here? Whoa. So get ready and go down the slide. Oh man, is this gonna like hold my weight? Better find out. Oh, oh wow, that burnt. Oh man, I used to love these things. So this would have been like something you would have talked into the other side. And then the receiver would be, you know, here and hearing what you're saying. So yeah, this is probably probably the other one too. So you know what? We're gonna do a little test here. See if I can place this camera right here. Let's see if that works. It's freaking out, probably. All right, hopefully it's still recording. One second. Hello. Can you hear me? 
me. When I start, there's a reason for roller coasters. Here's a little better view of the uh, memorial. So Thomas Taggart, Riverside Park. It's unfortunate I can't just you know walk up to the memorial itself, but yeah, it's still pretty cool. To Thomas Taggart, lover of mankind, whose foresight made possible this park. Looks like there may have been a fountain here at one point. Erected by the city and by his friends as a tribute to his vision and service. There you go. Well, I think that's going to do it. I think that's going to do it. It's been the uh, Riverside Park and Thomas Taggart Memorial concert place. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, just another view of that missing bridge. Also, the former site of where there used to be an amusement park. So pretty much all these things I had no idea about until pretty recent. Anywho, this has been Corey Dash Burles. I'll see you all out there and somewhere else. I think this is going to conclude White River Week. <laughs> see ya.